So here we have my first learn to write workbook by Crystal Redkey. This is ABCs and one, two, threes is the most of it, but inside I did find that it does cover shapes and things like that as well, which is great. I have a three-year-old, which is who I ordered it for, and I wanted to, first thing I wanted to know when I unboxed it is, is this gonna be on pace for my three-year-old? Is this uh, something that she could complete on her own with little assistance from me? Uh, is it self-explanatory or am I going to have to take a lot of time explaining each page and showing her each page? Um, basically how we work in our household is we cover something, show exactly how to do it, uh, they complete it, and then I grade it. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that explaining it one time would be good enough and it wouldn't be a hand-holding experience. So in here I found that it is very detailed but also very repetitive and interactive to keep them excited about it. Um, so for instance, they first start out just by giving different dotted lines to follow with your pencil and making sure your pencil is staying on the paper so that your child doesn't even feel like they're doing work or drawing letters, just basically making lines. So as you can see, they do lines down and swirled lines and U-turns and ups and downs and show an arrow pointing on how they should complete these. This way your child's kind of getting the basic motions of how to start to draw some of these letters that they'll be doing once they start filling those out. So again, up, downs, mountains, zigzag, smaller zigzag, and then they follow it with cars to the finish line. All of these um, subliminally are getting your child to learn how to draw a letter, but they right now are just trying to get a car to the finish line or a dog to a dog house or a squirrel to a tree. So it really allows them to have fun with it when first learning. Um, then they have shapes and things like that where it'll show them what it is, allow them to do it multiple times till they get it correctly. Um, then they do interactive pictures using those shapes in different ways that if you wanted to, your child could color afterwards. Um, here's a house. So I find that it found that it's really great as far as the variety of things. There's been lots of workbooks I've done in the past where there wasn't enough variety. My child was bored or crying and getting frustrated. I don't feel that this would be one of those workbooks that that would happen with. Another thing that I've experienced with other workbooks that's been frustrating is they'll do the letter A and they'll have the child write it three times and then it'll move on to B. I don't feel that writing a letter three times is enough to really retain and learn that letter. What I found that was really nice in these is there's at least 12 times on each page your child is writing the letter. So the capital A and lowercase a is 12 to 15 times um, minimum each letter is being written, which really allows more retention for writing that letter, making mistakes if need be, correcting those mistakes and continuing to write that letter until it's correct. So. I think that those are really great things about this particular workbook. Um, I would definitely rate this as far as um, on par for age, perfect, as well as because of the repetitive um, amount of times your child will be writing the, each letter, this will allow for a slower pace through the workbook so it's not something you're completing in a day or in two days. Uh, this workbook was something that we bought to supplement some education during the COVID-19 pandemic when we're doing a lot of learning from home. So I found it really great to be able to do that with them um, and have some a great tool like this to do that with.